Doctor, would you like a drink, Doctor? Oh, no, thank you. As a matter of fact, I haven't had breakfast yet. Someone's meeting me in the restaurant. No, if you don't mind, I'll just sit with you a few minutes, and then I must be off. Are you quite sure? Ah, uh, quite sure, thank you. Well, how is Gregor? Oh, he's fine. He's been doing some underwater research in the Baltic, so uh, I'm afraid we don't get a chance to see very much of each other these days. <laughs> well, when you do see him, be sure to give him my regards. Huh? Yes, of course. Well, where are you all off to? Up or down? Well, so where are you all off to? Up or down? Actually, we're on our way back from the moon. We just spent the last three months calibrating the new antenna at Chilinka. And what about you? Oh, I'm actually on my way up to Clavius. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, Dr. Floyd, I hope you don't think I'm being too inquisitive, but perhaps you can clear up the great big mystery about what has been going on up there. I I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Well, it's just for the past two weeks there have been some very odd things going on at Clavius. Really? Oh, really? Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for one thing, whenever you phone at the base, all you can hear is a recording that the telephone lines are temporarily out of order. Well, uh, probably having some trouble with their equipment or something like that. They must have been having some problems with the equipment or something yes, like that. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we thought was the explanation at first. But it has been going on for ten days. But it's been going on now for the past ten days. You mean you haven't been able to contact anyone for the past ten days? That's right. Oh, I see. Well, there's another thing, Haywood. Two days ago, one of our rocket buses was denied permission for an emergency landing at Clavius. Another thing, Haywood. Two days ago, one of our rocket buses was denied permission for an emergency landing at Clavius. Well, that does sound odd. Well, that's odd. Yes, and I'm afraid there's going to be quite a bit of a row about it. After all, denying our men permission to land at the base is a direct violation of the IAS convention. Of well, the IAS convention? Yes, of course, of course. Will the crew get back all right? Yes, yes, fortunately they did. Yes. Oh, I'm glad about that. Uh, well, Dr. Floyd, at the risk of pressing you on a point you seem reticent to discuss, may I ask you a straightforward question? May I ask you a straightforward question? What well, certainly. Quite frankly, we have had some very reliable intelligence reports that a serious epidemic has broken out at Clavius, something apparently of an unknown origin. Is this in fact what has happened? This is in fact what has happened. Well, I'm sorry, Dr. Smyslov, but I'm really not at liberty to discuss this. Uh, I understand, but this epidemic could very easily spread to our base. Uh, we should be given all the facts, Dr. Floyd. Yes, I, I know. I know. As I said, I'm really not permitted to discuss this. As I said, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Now, are you sure you won't change your mind about that drink? Now, are you sure you won't change your mind about that drink? Uh, no, no, I'm positive. I really must get going. Now I'm positive. Oh, I really must be going. Well, I hope that you and your wife can come to the IAC conference in June. Well, we're going to try. I hope we can make it. <laughs> Goodbye, Elena. It's been a pleasure meeting you all. Dr. Schmieslub? Uh, whatever the reasons for your visit to Clavius, Dr. Floyd, the very best of luck to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, ladies? Thank <laughs> you.